describe tonight's show supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Did I say it? I think I said it. I said it. I said it. Yes, Mary Poppins herself, Dame Julie Andrews, is on our show. Yeah. I know. Oscar-nominated star of The Wolf of Wall Street, Jonah Hill, is here. Is co star in 22 Jump Street, Channing Tatum is on the show. I know, I know, I know. Plus, we've got music and chat from the uber cool producer and musician, Pharrell Williams. Oh, you can scream. Oh, you can scream. Yeah. Now, that is Pharrell. That is Pharrell. More often, he is seen with his trademark hat, of course. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you uh, do want to emulate Pharrell and get a hat like that, be careful, because apparently they come in a lot of different sizes. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> the dangers of internet shopping. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be asking Channing Tatum about his varied film roles and, you know, his willingness to appear topless, but only if the role demands it. You know, for instance, like, a scene on a beach, obviously, or... Uh, maybe uh, playing the part of a boxer, or... Or just nipping down to the shops for a loaf of bread. You know, I mean, uh, We could keep doing this all night, couldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> 45 minutes have passed. <laughs> Channing and Jonah are back together as undercover cops for 22 Jump Street. Now, I tell you, look at them there. You've got to be careful just firing your guns in the air like that. You never know what you're going to hit, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I will be talking to Julie all about the iconic Mary Poppins. Uh, there she is with Dick Van Dyke. Actually, are we even allowed to say Dick Van Dyke on the BBC anyway? <laughs> Let's call him Van, OK? Uh, <laughs> we're safe, we're safe. Uh, he played Mary's best friend, Bert, the chimney sweep. It was a purely platonic relationship, although there is evidence that Bert did once try it on during a power cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'll be talking to Julie about the sound of music. Oh, it's, it's such great music. Oh, um, uh, nowadays, if she wanted to play the role of a female singer in Austria, she'd have to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all the girls. Lots of more of the stories of the big red chair. So let's get some guests on. The lady will be joined by Pharrell Williams. But first, he's going to be one of my favourite things. It's Canning Tatum. <laughs> Booted. It's good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Uh, nice. Dame Julie and I want to announce that we're engaged officially. <laughs> yes. uh, There's a lot of bonding backstage. Yes. We, uh... About five seconds worth, right? <laughs> yes. I just wanted to come to England and on your television program to announce our love. <laughs> and, and now, obviously, I know you're familiar with the guys, aren't you? Are yeah. You are you kidding? Of course I am. Yes. No, and um, uh, we've been very familiar, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow, Channing, what's, yeah. what's are you? I got are you losing I it? Are you losing it? I'm I don't know. It's early in the evening. <laughs> yeah. The shank of the evening will be... Uh, yeah. There's lots yeah. of Julie to go around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that is my future wife, so... Let's go. <laughs> 
A joke's a joke, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the, the thing is, because, you, you know, I was talking about the movies you've done, they are, you, you kind of embody these kind of icons for us. It's kind of... Uh, a... well, yes. Thank you. Uh, you know... <laughs> 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 sorry, but, sorry. but no, because where were where were you? Were you in Switzerland when you bumped into the tourists? The, yes, the, the Japanese tourists. Oh, uh, this is a true story. I uh, was about to come to the London Palladium and do an act for about a week or so, and I needed to really get in shape. So I used to go <clears throat> around the hills and down, and round the hills and down, and and in the mountains and so on, and I. Uh, just to get the legs strong. And then one day I thought, well, this is ridiculous. There's not a soul around. So, honest to God, this is a true story. I was doing The Hills Are Alive, and a whole bunch of Japanese tourists came <laughs> over. <laughs> and they, with cameras and everything. Honestly, you should have seen their faces. And you, my heart went right down. <laughs> Oh, this is good. This well, is they good. Well, I did it every day, I'm sorry. I never did, you know. And now, talking of meeting the public, the last time you guys were together doing your promotional tour for 21 Jump Street, uh -huh. is it fair to say that got a bit out of control? Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. It, well, no, out? I would call it a legendary yeah. press yeah. tour. First one, yes. Yeah. yeah. But no, no, I'm talking about the one you, you no. just. Not yet. That's not out yet. No, no. That, we're selling it now. That's yeah, but it. when's it yeah. coming? <laughs> when's it June? Uh, June the 6th. 6th. Oh, okay. June 6th. Okay. I think. You'll be at the premiere with me. Oh, yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, no, so they put you on a plane and just let you loose, it sounds like. Because where was the, was the, the fountain in Australia, Channing? Yes, that's actually, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I ended up in a fountain. Um, I, need to, I need to hear about this. You know, <laughs> if we're going to be getting married, I mean... I need to know about my friends. Yes, I need to know about my friends and what went on. <laughs> I was, we were just walking home. Fountain seemed like a good idea <laughs> at the time. Uh, other people ended up jumping in, so I didn't feel as, as awkward. So yeah. It was nice. You started the revolution. Yes. Was, uh, yeah. And was it in it Miami? It was raining, so everyone was wet already. Was it yeah. in Miami you lost your trousers, Jonah? Uh, I would say I lost them by choice. That was... Uh, <laughs> you, threw them, you threw them away. <laughs> we were in Miami and we went out... This is way before. Way yeah, before. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? I had to get out of my system before I found the one. So I... I <laughs> What about the other night? No. But, uh, Here's a problem, Keith. Listen, let's just talk about it off television. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so we're in Miami. We went out dancing, and then we went swimming in the ocean at four in the morning. Of course. And I just stayed. We got back in the car, and I stayed in my boxers, and then. Um, we went to go to a diner, and I didn't want to put on my pants, and Channing insisted that I put on pants, and I didn't feel it was necessary since <laughs> Miami's the weirdest place on the planet. I don't know, you guys know no about this place, no but wears pants in literally here. a guy will get out of a white Lamborghini wearing a white thong just to go find <laughs> like, crazy face plastic surgery. Like, it's the weirdest place ever. And um, Chan... Uh, put my pants on me by force. <laughs> I had so, shoes and socks on. There's a lot of on. weird stuff going on here yeah. that I, I'm trying to get clued in here. It, it was such a complicated evening, sweetheart. I don't want to... <laughs> you can't live in the past. You have to just go forward. You know? He was young. Yeah. yeah. But now, I, I don't know, I don't know if, you, if your tour will be quite the same, mm -hmm. uh, Dave Julie, because you are touring. Uh, I will be yes. going on tour for now, a little bit. It kicks off in Birmingham tomorrow, yeah. and then you feel... No, not tomorrow. Oh, right. it is tomorrow. Uh, oh, it is tomorrow. Yes, it, it is, is tomorrow. It is tomorrow. My God. <laughs> Sorry, jet lag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Friday at half ten. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, it kicks off in Birmingham tomorrow, <gasps> then Liverpool, two nights in London, and then ends in Bournemouth. That's right. Yep. That was short. Very short. Yeah. yeah. But long enough. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have
enjoyed it enough. A lot of zipping up and down. <laughs> yes. It's really um, um, just a chatting about everything I've done. Lots of film clips, lots of outtakes, silly, silly stuff. Something very, some of it's very funny. And it's, uh, it's a good night. And the second half is all questions and answers. And it's a great year for you to be doing this, because, of course, it is 50 years this year since the Oscar for Mary Poppins. That's right. right. And next year, 50 for... Um, wow for uh, Sound of Music, too. I mean, there's a lot of 50s in my life all of a sudden, which I could do without. I can... <laughs> <laughs> and the weird thing is, Mary Poppins, you know, it's such an important film for everyone. Everyone... I shouldn't of... be saying that in front of you, because you're such a young boy, and <laughs> I, you don't know that, do you? you know, yes. <laughs> Age is just a number, you know, I just... Yeah. Uh, I, view it that way. I want this to be true. Yeah. <laughs> This is a very serious night for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be best man? I absolutely will. <laughs> hey, Mom, I'm marrying a Julie Andrews. Mary <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Mary Poppins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the character in Wolf of Wall Street you played? Uh, Donnie. Donnie is, uh... marries Mary, yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Mary, there's a sequel there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that film, Mary Poppins, is so sweet and lovely, and yet it was quite... I mean, it was dangerous to make. Yes! Which sounds ridiculous, though. It, well, yes, I mean, there were a lot of stunts, a lot of flying stunts, which they saved mostly toward the end of the film because by that time most of the film was in the can and presumably if an accident happened, it was safe, you know. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, yeah, it's true, though, they saved everything until the last two or three days, the really, you know, all the high-flying stuff. And I was hanging around much higher than this studio, I can tell you, on wires in an in a excruciating harness. And uh, I, I, it was m my last day, and I, there were wires going along the back of the studio down to balancing equipment and sandbags and things. But I felt myself, while I was hanging around up there, waiting for the shot to be set up, I felt myself drop by about a foot, maybe six inches, and I thought, oh, my God, my it. luck is running out. This is it. <laughs> yeah. So I called down to the floor manager, and I said, excuse me, I, I just felt the wire give just a little bit, and when I come down, could you just be sure that you really let me down easy? And I heard the word go back along the length of the studio, Joe, when she comes down, let her down easy, Joe, let her down really easy, at which point I dropped like a ton of wood. <laughs> <laughs> to, to the stage. And there was this awed silence, and I let fly with a few Anglo-Saxon four-letter words <laughs> Disney had certainly never heard <laughs> And then Joe's voice from way at the back of the studio yelled, Is she down yet? <laughs> <laughs> I never saw him again, poor fellow. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> because you know, we all grew up watching this movie and I, I'm telling you, you're a newish dad. Yes. So you're maybe too young to watch Mary Poppins. Way too young. Uh, one year old, just um, going to be at the end of this month. Oh, what? Yeah, oh. It's, it's... But now, I, I read you really like this being a dad thing. You've taken really to do. it. I really do, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's a new task and, and challenge, and uh, it's it's fun. It's fun. But the first year, you're just sort of an assistant. Like, really, you're just like, right, <laughs> bottle? Bottle? Okay. All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> and, and it's really just all about the mother and the, and the baby. And, and I, we have a beautiful, beautiful little girl. Because uh, you, you, you said... People are thinking, like, Boy, <laughs> ovaries, really ovaries are popping all over the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ovulating now. <laughs> Let's leave. <laughs> Quick. We should have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. Let's just stop talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Get on with it, yeah. I, after the honeymoon, though, okay? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is it you, you can still say it backwards? Super kind of prejudice. Yes. yes. I can't say Do you want to hear it? If you can. 
If I can. What do you mean, if I can? <laughs> said, said Mary Poppins, snippily. Come on. Dosha Sally X B S Dick Fragi Kelly Rupus. Because <laughs> Jonah, what was the what's that? I because I've never I, I'm pretty thick, but I've never understood the thing that Morgan Freeman said to you that Oh, so when I was this was about ten years ago. I uh, did a film with Morgan Freeman. It was a really small film, and the first 10 pages or 10 minutes of the film are us two just <clears throat> driving together in a car and talking. And it took three days to shoot, and uh, he didn't talk to me the entire time, like in between takes, right? Because he had so much dialogue, I learned later, right? Okay. So he was just, you know, so in between we wouldn't really chat, and but we were in the car together for three days. And then at the end of the third day, he just turns to me and he goes, Jonah, Jonah, Babona, Banana, Fana, Fafona, me, Ma, Momona, Jonah. <laughs> That's it. And then it was like super uncomfortable. I didn't know what to say. It was one of the more weird moments of my life, you know? <laughs> I just didn't know what to say, so I just said, thank you. <laughs> and then he said, it was quiet again, and he said, do me. <laughs> I said, what? I was like, do my name. And I was like, do your name? And he's like, yeah, do my name. And I was like, Morgan, Morgan, Bo Borgen, Bo <laughs> Borgen. <laughs> Me, my, mo, Morgan, Morgan. <laughs> he went, all right, and then we never spoke again. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've seen him since, and he, he told me he was messing with me. He, he was <laughs> messing with me, which was hilarious, you know? It's hysterical. It's it's just, he's playing a long yeah. game, though. Yeah. <laughs> Using three day three joke. Day. <laughs> yeah. um, so listen, uh, Julie, I don't know if you've got a night off in your tour, but if you do, mm -hmm. you could do worse than going to see 22 Jump Street. Yes! Yes! Uh, it is out on the 6th of June. Correct. And it's the sequel to obviously 21 Jump Street. So you're, you're back together. This time, now yes. I've, I've seen it. I really funny. It is a very, very funny film. Thank you. Uh, so tell the, tell the people what happens this time. So basically, in the first one, we're we're cops. Chan and I are partners, and we go undercover in a high school. And in this time, uh, we we go undercover at a university. <laughs> Pretty clever, right? <laughs> so. So the first one, we really take the piss out of ourselves because we're saying that it's the most unoriginal thing ever to turn a TV show into a movie, yeah. right? The movies are very self-aware. And in this one, we're really taking the piss out of ourselves for making a sequel. And that quote-unquote second missions are always just worse and more expensive <laughs> than first missions. <laughs> and you can never recapture that magic. So we kind of make fun of ourselves throughout the film. And... Uh, it's, it's just really funny, a lot of action, and just a popcorn summer movie that you go and just laugh and have a good time. Now, watch, I guess, uh, that I, physically, Channing and Jonah, I would say you are quite different as actors. <laughs> That's yeah. fair? They look different, too. They do yeah. look yeah. different. Yeah. They do look different, Julie. Uh, well, <laughs> But there's, there's, okay, there's one sequence where you're both doing things, and Channing, you're very good at the things. And you are good at the things, aren't you? I'm oh, okay, yeah. He is. <laughs> yeah. But, like, you Depending mean... on what the things you're talking about, I'm not, I mean, that's not very specific on the things, but... Well, I don't want to spoil the film. Oh, got it, got it, all right. No, you know, but kind of the jumping and the, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. all that All the stunts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you like all of that. I'm pretty good at jumping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can jump. You can actually fly. <laughs> <laughs> you too? Like Mary yeah. Poppins. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well done. <laughs> that's, 
Maybe I should sit in the middle. <laughs> Come on over, I might oh. let it. <laughs> but seriously, guys, no. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from her with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but so you you like the running around the thing, mm -hmm. and Joan, I'm sensing you don't. I it's not that I don't like it. I just whenever it's possible for Gianni, my stunt person, to do it, I allow him to do it. <laughs> Very big. He gets you. such joy out of it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to take away that joy from him. <laughs> Girls in your movies. Yeah. Oh. Guess who gets the girl? Don't be jealous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 No, no. Yeah. That guy. Oh, okay. It's just acting, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but now, here's it's the thing, though. It's not real life. You would think <laughs> that Channing, doing all the stunts, you would get... That's how you would get hurt. He's really good friends with the, with the directors, so somehow he gets the girl, he doesn't have to do the hard stunts. <laughs> well, uh, also, I wrote the movie, so that yeah. really <laughs> helps. <laughs> when you write the movies, you get the girl, you don't do any of the stunts. Yeah. You just kind of chill out and be funny and relax a little bit. But, you know? but Chad, Chad, your worst injury wasn't a jumping thing. It was water. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. was, Not on this movie, but yes. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds vile. It's terrible. Oh, uh, I was actually uh, in Scotland. and um, That isn't the story. That's, that's <laughs> it. But, uh, but, uh, I was in a hypothermic river and wearing a wetsuit underneath uh, the costume. And they're pouring warm water down your... Um, down your wetsuit all day to keep you, you know, get your core warm. And we had finished the day, everyone was tired, and here comes the guy with the bottle to warm you up. And what had happened was he had forgot to get down to the river and fill up the bottle that had kettle water in it, like boiling water, with river water. And they poured it down my wetsuit. Oh. And, uh, oh. It healed fine, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 yeah, but what, what, what happened? It, <laughs> It burned all the skin on my pee pee off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You knew. It's perfectly yeah. now. It's good. It's, 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 it's really strange. It, it, it's pretty resilient down there. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice with this new skin now. Yeah. It's yeah. so great. Oh, it looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it looks beautiful. A1. A1. It's yeah. like there never was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, uh, let's distract ourselves. We've got a clip. We've got a, a clip from the movie. Uh, this is from uh, near the beginning of the movie when you're trying out a bit of undercover role playing. I there think that that's all I need to say. All you need yeah, to know. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Role playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep a straight face. Always. <laughs> yeah. Always, always. You know, it is a really funny film. Because it, it is that weird thing, because. Particularly sequels for comedies, people do worry about them. They always suck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, pretty much all the time. Yeah. No, this is, this is really good. Anchorman <laughs> Two is good. Oh this, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah. this is no. Really there's good. lots of good ones, but usually they suck. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> now, talking of sequels, much excitement. Channing Tatum, uh, Magic Mike Two. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. So, what, is there anything? Can you tell us anything about this? Uh, it's uh, it's going to be a road trip, um, and uh, it's it's probably going to be more of the movie that uh, you expected on the first one. It's a little more uh, bigger and funnier and, and uh, crazy. Uh, just a good time on this one, I think. Um, that's all I really want to say on that okay. one. <laughs> and, uh, is this one of the things you kind of dread it because you have to get ready? To do that, it is <laughs> yes for sure. Uh, it's not a fun process. Um, not eating anything good for about three months straight, and uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love about it because a lot of actors, if they had a kind of you know, if they'd done stripping, that would have been their secret past. <laughs> and like, but you own it. You've made a, a you know a big successful thing. Presumably, people were telling you don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. Uh, okay. Yeah. It was. Um, it was. It was one of those things that I was fine with. I mean, I was I was 18, 19 years old, and and it was a crazy time in my life. And I've I've got a chance to live crazy things and somehow survive them. So uh, 
It was, it was a, I wasn't really afraid of it coming out. And look at who's laughing now. Yeah. You turned it, <laughs> turn it into a really successful yeah, franchise. Yeah, it's it. So, yeah, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. I, I just wanted to, uh, this amazes me. So, in this country, when people are stripping, there's very basic jobs the strippers do. <laughs> like, they're firemen, soldiers. Ours too, yeah. for the most part. But you, you chose bizarre things to be. Okay, well... Those, the first ones weren't shows for me. They were more like hazing uh, things. I think I know what you're talking about. That because is... your first one, you, was your very first one a Boy Scout? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, you think that's bad. This is the song he would strip to. Hello, Mara. <laughs> Hello, Father. Here I am. Yeah. Here Camp Granada. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and then it stops and it's like, whoosh, and you rip your head off. That's fantastic. The worst part about that story is uh, my sister came the very first night that I ever uh, uh, tried to shame me out of not doing it, I think, and that was mortifying. <laughs> so she knew you were going to be there? Yeah, her friends all basically brought her and, uh, and were trying to shame me out of doing it, but I followed through. <laughs> In a good way. In a good <laughs> <laughs> way. It was terrible, actually. You were nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and it was cold. And it was very cold. <laughs> oh. uh, talking about doing shocking things, uh, of course, you, Dame Judy, in, in your husband's movie, SOB, yeah. you... Went twice. Husband. Yes. I, well, <laughs> what? Husband. <laughs> We've all been around the block, Jonah. <laughs> Is this Blake Edwards? Yes. Well, what a legend! You guys were married to yeah. each other. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh! Did, did well, you he... Google the other guests? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, she's such a legend, and he's such a legend. What That's a legendary right. combination! I'm married to that lovely guy for 42 years. Wow. Honestly, Jonah. Such we a legendary so couple, oh my god. Yeah. That'd be the only person I'd be fine with being married to, except for me. <laughs> my friend wrote a book on him, Sammy Wasson, you know that? Yes, is? I he know wrote a Sammy. Book on Blake. Oh, God. Can you guys go away for a minute? It's yeah. so <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah well, How weird. Uh, I think maybe most of the audience know he did all the great Pink Panther movies. He did um, a Breakfast at Tiffany's and The Great Such Race. Such a legend. And, and 10 and mm -hmm. uh, you know, those kind of movies. But no, I, I had to go uh, topless, for, but it was very legitimate. And I had, t it took 10 years. Super to get legitimate. That. No, no. <laughs> it was a legitimately in the script, is what I'm okay, saying. Okay. No, yes, very legitimate, believe me. <laughs> Beautiful movie. Beautiful movie. <laughs> She hasn't seen it ten times. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> it's too young. It's too young. You'd love it. It's all about... It's a real takeoff on Hollywood. It's a mm. very funny movie. SOB? SOB is, yeah. Cool. Oh, have you not seen it either? No, I'm sorry. My I apologize. God. Uh, well, we'll play it on our wedding night. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You really will. I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> but where are the people? But where are the people? Where are the people in Hollywood just telling you, "Don't do this. You're Julianne." No, don't. no, no. I mean, I'd done an awful lot by then, and and I had, as I say, it took ten years to get the movie made. So I had ten years to think about it, <laughs> and it was in the script and quite, as I say, legitimate. And uh, it just can be cold in the studio. Didn't you find that? When you and, and it's a lot worse when it's cold for us than... Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, look, chills help ladies, don't they? No, I don't think so. Really? Uh, well, didn't, I mean, goosebumps don't look particularly good on camera. I guess not, but... <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> this is the funniest conversation. conversation right now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be your turn one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Wolf of Wall Street. Right. Yeah. 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 Yes, you did. You did. But that wasn't yeah. your own. Uh, no, it was not. It, it was, was someone not. else's. Uh, it was someone else's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That'd be amazing. It's so... <laughs> no, it was a prosthetic. Yeah, it was your stunt double. You gave him the work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make him happy. But do you know what's weird about the Wolf of Wall Street? So all the really out there stuff that happened to you know, the nudity, the drugs, mm -hmm. the language. But the scene that really upset people was you and the fish. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the goldfish. Yeah, so the real-life person uh, that one of the characters that it's based on ate a co-worker's goldfish and fired him, and it's a really horrific, brutal scene because he's really degrading this guy. Yeah. And we and did the it. goldfish. And the goldfish, <laughs> exactly. Yes. That's right. And so uh, Martin Scorsese asked me if I, what I wanted to do, how we wanted to do it. And I said, well, the guy really ate a goldfish, so I'll do it. I'll, I tried to do everything for real, and I was like, I'll eat the goldfish. Uh. And he came back to me and said, PETA won't allow... Uh, is PETA, PETA is like an animal protection organization. They yeah. won't allow you to eat a goldfish. <laughs> and I said, that's weird. And so... Um, <laughs> He's like, you can keep it in your mouth for three seconds at a time and then have to spit it back into water. <laughs> and so uh, we show up on the day and, and there's, no, I'm not kidding, there's four goldfish wranglers, minders <laughs> of the goldfish. Aww. So the goldfish has four assistants from, from Eva there, <laughs> which is four more than I had. <laughs> I put the goldfish in my mouth for the first take, and it immediately goes to the bathroom in my mouth. Oh. Yeah. And so, uh, basically, I hate goldfish, and uh, <laughs> I'll never work with one ever again. <laughs> Even if it's tasteful and meant to be in the script. Yeah, I'm doing it. I've worked with cockroaches. Oh, wow. I wonder what you're going to say there, James <laughs> Julia. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is all coming out tonight. <laughs> it's, your, it's your mind. <laughs> you have your mind. When we edit the show, that's what you'll say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I never thought about it. <laughs> right, listen. Uh, we want to get on. It is time to meet our singing guest tonight. He is the man behind the biggest selling singles of the last two years. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Pharrell Williams! How are you, Bruce? Good. So nice to meet you. What's up, bro? Good to see you. What's up, bro? How are you doing? Boy, you're so good. Oh, my God, that's great. Look at all this, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> and, and of course, Ashley and, and Pharrell and Julie, you're both part of the Despicable Me family. Yes. Yes. We never met, though, did we, on the, on the, on the film? No, but I was honored to, to know that I was working on the same project Thank you. as you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I what think, is going on? I, hey, man, so she's kind of taken. <laughs> <laughs> By me and Blake Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, you are going to sing for you. You're singing a new single, Marilyn Monroe. Yes, sir. And that's off the new album, Girl, both out now. Yes, sir. And now, this album, it's sort of your... Is it your ode to women? It's your love letter to women? Yeah, it's like an open love letter to women because they've been so amazing to me over the past 20 years. They've been so supportive. They never left my side. And I just, you know, when given the opportunity to make an album, I just felt like, you know what? I know who I want to speak to. I want to speak to that very special demographic that have been holding me up for so long. Mm -hmm. okay. So, girl. Yeah. And, and now half the audience is clapping. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, reading your bio, you seem like you are a fan of the older lady. <laughs> <laughs> this is such bullshit. This is such bullshit. <laughs> I'm not a singer. I can't compete with this. <laughs> <laughs> now that you put it that way. <laughs> but I mean, you know what? That's why I learned most of my, you know, real lessons from. You know, it's I, I learned how to treat 
women based off of the the older women that I hung out with and they were so gracious and so generous and they taught me so many things. But the thing is though, you're not you're not intimidated by women because I, I read a thing where you when you were working with Madonna on Hard Candy, like oh boy. you like you stood up to Madonna. And that's well, what, I mean, she sat there. She is she, not easy. But you know what? To her credit, she likes that. She likes that. She doesn't really like, like, a super softy, you know. And I'm not, like, you know, Hulk Hogan either. <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, like, I was just very stern in my position and in terms of producing and giving her advice because that's what she hired me to do. So that was fun. Did she like it all the time? She liked it. <laughs> Eventually. But you know what? I liked it too. M is, it is a pleasure to work with, uh, you know, an icon, someone that I looked up to when I was when I was young that I thought was hot then, and like got a chance to work with her. Like that was that was amazing. Or like sitting here with her, like someone with such incredible, rich, regal music musical history. And I'm able to sit here, you know, the sound of music. And well, you've made a bit of your own. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, and you really have, because every record on the radio seems to be, oh, it's featuring Pharrell or it's produced by Pharrell. How do you physically find the time to do all this? No social life. <laughs> Is it really it's just, that's it, just work all the time? Yeah, I mean, work and family, and that's just, you know, that's... Really, at this point in my life, you know, I'm 41, so that's like the most important uh. thing to me. <laughs> You're well, old for you, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem appropriate. I mean, what do I know? You know? Stop <laughs> hating, Jonah. No, no, no. <laughs> You're hating you're, you're you're right a, now. You're a genius. I'm just saying. I'm that not that. You are, but you maybe know, you'd stay see. the fuck away from my girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. You're going to sing for us, but very quickly, uh, we must mention your tour starts on the 9th of September in Manchester, and then you go all over Europe, and you're ending up in London on the 9th of October. Yes, sir. And, wow. uh, and you're about to give us uh, a taste of what those nice people can experience on I tour. I am going to do my best. I'm sure, well, I've seen your rehearsal. It looked amazing. Thank uh, you. So if you'd like to go and uh, get ready... Okay, over. I'll shovel off. Will yeah. you come back? Oh, oh, you you'll come back. Man. We'll come back. We'll see you, we'll see you in a bit. Very shortly, we'll have this week's stories in the big red chair. But first, singing his new single, Marilyn Monroe, it is Pharrell Williams! Let's go and rescue him! Good job! Thank you, Pharrell. That was quite the stage invasion. I... Yeah. <laughs> Those ladies, they, you, they didn't need to ask him twice. They were like droves. <laughs> 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 Love you ladies behind you, too. Well, yeah. yeah. They are. Yes. yes. Bravo. Very good. Yeah. It's a proper show. It's a proper show. Light it. Light well, it. They're, they're, the, they're the, the girl dancers. We call them bays. And uh, the singers that are there, we don't call them background singers because they're just as bright as we all are. So mm -hmm. they're my singers, not background singers. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. And that's right. This is really good tonight. Just trying to a story to in the red chair. So uh, who's who's up first? Who's there? Hello. Hi. Now look, relax. This could go really well. It could go really well. What's your name? Phoebe. 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 Like Phoebe. Phoebe from Friends. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Very good. <laughs> and are you wearing one short, one trouser? <laughs> no. Oh, oh. <laughs> because 
fast fashion. <laughs> oh, is it a split in your? Is it a? Yeah, it's a oh, little I, bit. Oh, I see. No, no. no. We're going, oh, look, they're pulling out to show us. Oh, yes, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Nice it, knee. Yeah. He <laughs> looks like a small bald man. Is down there. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, uh, uh, what do you do, Phoebe? I work in property management. In property management? Yeah. But this is obviously dressed down Thursday for you, yeah? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Friday. <laughs> Off you go with your story. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend went home for the weekend to my home and yeah. my parents were quite sort of don't be in the same room together alone, you can't share a room. Mm -hmm. Parents went out for lunch, weren't supposed to get back till later, so obviously we went to my room <laughs> and started, you know, doing stuff and it was getting going when I heard the door slam, heard mum back, screamed, jumped up, panicking, couldn't find any of my clothes, only had a towel wrapped around me tried to go outside until I heard this pop and I was like, what? Turn around and my boyfriend was spread eagle, completely naked on the floor, dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> I was screaming, I was crying, he was sweating. I was like, I have to go get my mum. And he was like, no, don't go and get your mum. And I was like, I have to, I have to, because she's a physiotherapist. <laughs> when they got her, she came in, put boxes on him, popped his shoulder back in and we drove to hospital. It was really awkward. <laughs> it needed an ending. Oh, it needed oh, an ending. Oh, cool. It was good. It needed an ending. That was a good story. And then we drove that to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> then we drove to hospital. That was a great story. Yeah. It wasn't and, a, but what the hell were they doing? <laughs> it's good. Isn't it? He was sweating. He dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, that was all going on during that last time. <laughs> uh, 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 do we have something else? Oh, we do. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, it's Karim. And where are you from? South of France. South South of France. <laughs> do you do you know him, Janet? No, no. I'm just imagining where this is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what Definitely do you do, Karim? Uh, I'm a catering manager. All oh, right, in London or in South in France? In London now. In London. Oh, in London now. Oh, yeah. For like a big organisation? No. For yeah, can I mention it? Yes, please yeah, do. It's SMMT. <gasps> Not SMMT. Okay, off you go with this story, Chris. Right. Um, um, I used to be quite a good runner before, so I, I did a 10 kick quite a few years ago. Yeah. And I was leading the race. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah. Very good. Very good. Mm. Um, and I, I felt something on my leg. Uh, I wasn't quite sure. I, I thought it was a string of my shorts, so I carry on running. A lot of people were cheering and cheering and cheering, <laughs> and I, I felt great. Unfortunately, I was second at the finish. I crossed the line. Everybody was cheering and everything. And then my friend came and said, "Look down your pants," and actually my uh, wee wee was hanging. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a good story. I'm just gonna call out one thing. Oh, three. I'm only going to... Before you decide that after this. Okay. The string is a little thin. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was a string. I don't... <laughs> you, know, you make your day. decision. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, point out all the observations. Is it cream walk or flip? Yeah. It doesn't look like it would be string. It looks like, you know, there's yeah. a lot to Karim. <laughs> I was so fascinated with the story, I wasn't <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have it? one more? One, have we one more? Okay, well, this is the last one. The last one, last one. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, How are you doing? What's your name? Sarah Jane. And uh, what do you do, Sarah Jane? I'm a nurse. Oh, lovely. In London? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's London! <laughs> I am, yes! I'm here to London! It's great! Um, <laughs> have you stolen drugs? <laughs> <laughs> you seem high as a kite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> All right, Sarah Jane, off you go with your story. All right, so when I was a student, I was working in the colonoscopy day unit procedure place. <laughs> and... so, 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 tell me one second. I apologise in advance <laughs> to Dame <laughs> Julie Andrews. Yeah. Okay. This story is not going to end well. <laughs> Off you go, Sarah Jane. All right, so I had a little old lady in her 80s come in. She was so cute. We gave her some medication, and anyway, we started the procedure. And anyway, they started inserting the tube, and she started, she turned around and flailed her hands. She's like, Now stop it, Daniel. I told you, you're not allowed to put it there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great story. <laughs> <laughs> You can. This content is via our website at this very address. Thank you so much to my guest tonight, Pharrell Williams, everybody! <laughs> Mr. Channing Tatum! Jonah Hill! And Dame Julie Andrews! Join me next week with a packed sofa. Uh, musical guest Paul Clay, British star Emily Blunt, Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane, Oscar winner Charlize Theron, and Hollywood superstar Tom Cruise. All here. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye bye.